the Northern Ontario School of Medicine and our access to students and having learners in our community has really helped us promote the idea within our own community, within our own learners, that you can come from here, you do come from here. We take our medical learners into our high school. They have interaction with elementary school students, and some of them are people who have been born and raised in this community who can now say to people as young students, I went to this school, I sat at that desk, or I sat in this classroom, and now I'm a physician. And that is a powerful, powerful idea for us and for our young people that says, I can get there from here. The idea of promoting in young people that they can become physicians and they can do it in a way that's local is already creating a more equitable academic system that ultimately leads to a more equitable delivery of health care. We do have physicians, practicing physicians, who grew up in this community, went away to school, uh, got accepted into the Northern Ontario School of Medicine, and now they're practicing, and now they're faculty. For me, that's a powerful idea. Some of those physicians are friends of my children, and to see them working as physicians, we all share a tremendous sense of pride in that accomplishment. I believe our Northern Ontario School of Medicine students develop the, the sort of a generalist background by spending an entire academic year in our community uh, with a wide range of practitioners, surgeons, general internal medicine, GPs, family physicians, and, and experiencing longitudinal interaction with patients. And there isn't always uh, someone to call right away or to send a patient to see a specialist who's just down the hall or just around the corner that you have to be that. Sometimes you have to be that specialist when it's appropriate or to make those arrangements for patients. In positive situations, and we certainly have that here, an opportunity to really develop a collegial relationship with other physicians uh, because of the way you work closely together. And our physicians are working in our eMERGE, they're part of our hospitalist program, they're in our long-term care homes working with our nurse practitioners, in our OR, everywhere. And so having an experience that's, that's varied day-to-day, -day, but also it puts you uh, in really close working relationships with your colleagues. At West Perry Sound Health Center, I'm the communications and community relations officer, but I'm sometimes affectionately, or at least I hope affectionately, known as the NOSM concierge. I greet our students every August when they arrive, and I have opportunity to take them out into our community. We go out searching for rattlesnakes and we get out onto Georgian Bay, that is the uh, as a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve, the largest freshwater archipelago in the world. Uh, just a beautiful place to visit, and we get our students out there. We have the largest population of Massasauga rattlesnakes in Ontario, and we operate the Massasauga rattlesnake antivenom depot for all of all of Ontario. Our Chief of Staff, Dr. Terence Farger, has treated more rattlesnake bite patients than probably any physician, uh, in, uh, certainly in Ontario, perhaps uh, among the top care providers in the country, as we generally have anywhere from 6 to 12 rattlesnake bites per summer season. I think social accountability for physicians, but for everyone who works in the healthcare system, is about not hanging your lab coat on a hook at the end of the day and going on with the rest of your business. That it means involving yourself in other enterprises, in other activities that promote wellness. And that can be just time in the outdoors or time in other social uh, activities. 
but that we're all together invested in making this a healthier community. We, we don't want to just be involved in helping the ill uh, get better. We want to help people avoid getting ill and, and to actually live that life and to promote that, uh, that lifestyle. Our relationship with the Northern Ontario School of Medicine has given us access to ideas and to people from, from all over the world. They bring visitors here to, to Perry Sound to, to visit our facility. They've come from parts of Africa, from China, Nepal, all over the world, academic leaders who bring ideas into our institution and into meetings where we are able to talk about uh, healthcare systems all over the world. And because of, uh, I don't know, uh, Dr. Strasser saw in, in, in our relationship with the school something important, he invited me to go to Thailand to speak with him at a at a very large international conference that exposed me to ideas global ideas on medical education and the challenges in rural and remote uh, places in the world and the NASA model is revered um, it's held up as a great example, as a great opportunity for other countries to change the course of, of population health. And I think the people in Northern Ontario have to do everything possible to, to promote, to foster, to protect the Northern Ontario School of Medicine model and the delivery of, of uh, distributed community-based education. It, it, we cannot change population health and we will never move the needle on equity without uh, a backbone or the support of a distributed education model uh, that NOSM is delivering.